Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the Civil Rights Movement in Tennessee, and we're fortunate to have with us uh, Professor Gloria McKissie uh, from Tennessee State University to talk about some of her experiences uh, doing the uh, movement in uh, Tennessee. And of course, uh, Professor McKissick, let me uh, welcome you to uh, the show this morning. I'm pleased, delighted to be here this morning. And to tell you how delighted we are <laughs> to have you uh, here this morning, and especially to uh, talk about the uh, civil rights movement in Nashville, because we do understand that the uh, Nashville movement was very, very important yes. to the overall uh, civil rights movement. Uh, but Professor McKissick, before we uh, get started talking about the uh, civil rights movement, let's talk about you. Okay. Uh, let's have you to give us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important that eventually led you to Nashville and eventually to uh, participate in the movement, and after which we'll talk about the uh, civil rights movement in Nashville itself. Okay. I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, mm -hmm. and went to the public school system there, and upon graduation, uh, was interested in coming south. I was from a middle class uh, family and back in the day you sent your children south, south. to school. Mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to go to Wayne mm -hmm. and Michigan State University yeah. but I wanted to go to a historically black college mm -hmm. and that's kind of interesting because in the south at that time and other places they were moving towards integration mm -hmm. And I had been in integration, mm -hmm. living in, you know, predominantly white communities, mm -hmm. integrated schools, and I wanted to have the opposite uh -huh. experience. Mm -hmm. So I came south mm -hmm. uh, to and attended Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. uh, all my education is at Tennessee uh, State. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my master's and mm -hmm. uh, plus at Tennessee State mm -hmm. University and uh, Peabody, additional courses at Wayne mm -hmm. and uh, the University of Northern Colorado mm -hmm. and, and so forth. I taught in the school system mm -hmm. uh, for 32 years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in metro schools, mm -hmm. uh, was part of the integration Very of good. the of the schools, mm -hmm. uh, the magnet school program and so forth, a desegregation plan, mm -hmm. a lot of things. Facing of adversity good, good. is what okay. I did. Okay. Very good. And uh, uh, have been an adjunct professor at his of history at Tennessee State mm -hmm. University for 16 years mm -hmm. now taught in the pilot courses at uh, Rivergate and uh, Ball State Community College mm -hmm, teaching mm -hmm. uh, African-American studies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you've got quite a bit of experience uh, dealing with uh, Tennessee State University and the state of Tennessee, even though you came from Detroit. Uh, yeah. You've been here uh, such a long time, and of course you came at a very, very ripe time in terms of what we're talking about this morning, the uh, Civil Rights Movement. And I think you uh, indicated earlier that uh, talked about uh, opposition and uh, 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 I think you use the word uh, ad adversity uh, and whatever. Let's talk about the uh, civil rights movement and how you met that movement for, uh, when you first came to uh, the city. Let's look at separation because you were not familiar with the, the restaurants and two no, sides and all no, that. No, no, it was a cultural shock uh -huh. to talk me. About that. It was a cultural shock. Mm -hmm. um, I remember so vividly coming to Nashville, mm -hmm. 1961. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, and uh, being in the downtown area, the black business district, mm -hmm. and I never will forget seeing the huge billboard mm -hmm. that had the gold dust twins oh. looking down. Mm -hmm. That was a cultural shock mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. me, and going into the stores and seeing canned food that was called Negro beans and uh -huh. stuff like okay. this, so uh -huh. that, that was very different, mm -hmm. and only very, very few things that I can remember in my background mm -hmm. that made me aware of okay. mm -hmm. the real race problem that existed in mm -hmm. this country. And I remember with my family watching okay. the events in the South on television, and my dad said to me, Gloria, I'm sending you there to get an education. Hey, Do not yeah. get involved yeah, okay. in the movement. Uh -huh. And that's the very thing that I did and I think it was the best education mm -hmm. I ever had mm -hmm. because of that involvement. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I uh, became a student at TSU, it was in 61, and mm -hmm. the, the Freedom Rides had already taken okay. place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And many of, of the mass movement events had already transpired. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Bevel and uh, Diane Nash had left Nashville. Mm -hmm. 
So there was, it was a new period in mm -hmm. Nashville for the civil rights movement mm -hmm. because it was just a few places really mm -hmm. holding out. Very good. And of course, uh, we, let us have this first commercial break here, uh, uh, Professor McKissick, and then we'll come back and we'll let you pick up at that particular point because okay. I think that the information that you're giving us now is sort of an insider's view in yes. terms of becoming involved with, and especially an insider who uh, was not familiar at all with the uh, racial mores of uh, Nashville and the Deep South. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The topic.